we need to be able to get you to the point where you can just look at an equation and go, you know what, that's linear. That makes a straight line, okay? Um, at the same time, you need to be able to look at an equation and go, mm, no, that's, that's not linear. It will not make a straight line if I graph that. And we need to be able to do it without graphing. So here's the basic rule. We need to look at the variables in your equation. And um, when I say no exponent, that means that it's just got a positive 1 for the exponent. So um, if we looked at like this equation right here, see how there's no exponents uh, written on the y and the x. You know, we're checking the variables. Technically, there is a positive 1. Well, because we don't write positive 1 normally, that's the reason I'm using this language of no exponent. Okay, So if you see any exponent sitting there on the variables, you would say it's not linear. It's not going to make a straight line. If you look at it and you go, let's see, here's the y, no exponent. Here's the x, no exponent. You'd say it's linear. And that's all that we have to do to determine this. Now, right here, I've made a, a little note here that as you get up into higher levels of math, you're going to have a lot more complicated formulas, uh, equations, and, and whatnot that when you simplify it, um, it kind of changes what you see at first. And so you could see some um, exponents, but then after you simplify it, the exponents may go away and you go, oh, okay, okay, it's actually linear. It's just kind of disguised. We're not going to take it that far in pre-algebra. So we're going to take a look at this right here. We're going to go, you know what? Uh, there's no exponents on the variables. Linear. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, there is an exponent on this y right here, so I'm going to say it's nonlinear. When we take a look at this uh, equation here, the y is okay. I don't care about this 4, I don't care about the 3, I don't care about the negative 4. What I care about is this x right here and this exponent right here. And so I'd say, you know what, because of that, it's nonlinear. Yeah, real tough lesson today, huh? And let's take a look at one more. This is where I, I will actually try to... Um, trick you on a, a quiz. Um, look at your variables. Let's see. No exponent. No exponent. I've checked all of my variables. I will say it's linear. Why? Because this right here is just 6 to the second power. I know that's 36. I could rewrite that if I wanted to. And as you can see, there's absolutely no exponents in this equation, but we don't worry about the equation. We just worry about the variables. And um, that's pretty much the, the whole gist of the lesson. Again, as you get into higher level math, you'll have a lot more complicated equations to determine if it's linear or nonlinear, but this is the extent of pre-algebra.